Bless. You got two cell phones and a landline. You got call waiting. You got call call back and call forward and call behind and call up and everything else on your phone. And you said, Lord, just help me. I, I'm in financial ruin. I'm about to go under, Lord. Please help me. Hello, who's this? We want a faith that will allow us to keep all our stuff. I'm just believing God. You know, I'm believing God. Give, give me the other cell phone. I'm believing God. Turn my cable on. Then. Some, some, turn, turn the TV on. You got HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, everything. You, 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 I can get 500 channels on my TV. Look, look at that, 500 channels. I'm losing my, losing my house this week, but I've I'm, I'm got 500 channels. I bet you don't have that on your TV. Shopping, 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 shopping. You know, you got a closet full of clothes and you're two months behind on your mortgage. Hallelujah. Let the Lord work it out. See, we can talk about change when it's somebody else. Yeah, get them, Pastor. Get them. Get them. Tell them. Woo, Jesus. It's like some of you looking at each other. Yeah, get them. That's right. Until I visit you in your closet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That's a cell phone. God bless you, Pastor. Well, amen. Amen. Well, then, thanks, God. But he says, why call me Lord, Lord, and do not what I what I say. That he cannot get us to do. Hallelujah. Turn to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. I'm about done. I'm about it's going to be hard for some of you to get a hold of me. I'm turning off all my stuff. I'm good. We might have a walkie talkie. <laughs> I think we're going to go all the way back to when you said, you remember when you had a can? <laughs> tied, tied some string to it? It says, Hebrews 11, verse 6. It says, but without faith it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, that first that he's God, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Diligently seek him. When you, when you think about seeking, there's some action involved in you looking. You're going this place. You're looking. Where's King Casper at? She's down here somewhere. There's some action involved. You don't stay in your house and have the bedroom closed looking for somebody. It gets you out of that room. It gets you out of the house. It gets you into a place where you become active in your search for God. And what are you searching for God for? Because you're looking for the will of God. And he says he rewards them. Not everybody, but them, those who diligently seek him, who are, are activated by their faith. Their faith makes them get up and do incredible things and believe God even when they don't know where they're going. Hallelujah. And it says, with this, it says, without this faith, this is an act of faith that's impossible to please him. That's the bad part about living in a dead zone is, is God can't get you to do anything. And, and, and pastors, we preach about getting busy for the Lord and doing things for the Lord. And, and we, we preach it and preach it and preach it and preach it. But, but I want to let the word preach to you, the word minister to you, that if you do nothing, you'll always get nothing. You know, you, you, sometimes you see men and women, they, they, they talk about they want a spouse bad. Oh, our Lord, does it send me a husband, send me a wife. Well, well, you need to be active about that thing. You know, maybe you ought to, maybe you ought to brush your hair and you know, 
that's a that's a good place to start, you know, brushing your teeth and you know, all that stuff, combing your hair and, and then putting on, you know, go get some nice clothes and put some perfume on and, and put some makeup on. Do you know, brothers, put a nice pair of jeans without holes in them. Come on. Every girl doesn't have a hole ministry where she's looking for holes all in her brother's pants and stuff like that. You, you have to be active. Because you can tell when a woman really believes she's going to get married. When a woman really believes she's going to get married, she usually loses about 20 pounds. She look at that dress, she says, oh yeah, I'm getting in that dress. Oh, watch and see. The devil is a liar. How long have I got? You got two weeks. Two weeks, they don't need a thing. The day they'll go out and start buying stuff and buying this dress and looking stuff and then they look at this and they have to have a certain thing that goes on their head and they have to have the gloves that go all the way up to here, train that goes all the way out the back door. They start doing things because they actually believe they're getting married. Many of us don't have that because we don't believe. We say we're going to get married, but, but, but we haven't done anything. We, we say that we know God wants to bless us. How many know God really wants to bless us? God really does want to bless us. He wants to bless our homes, our jobs. He wants to bless us wherever we go. God wants to just heap his blessings upon us. He wants change to come, but he's waiting for us. He's waiting. Hallelujah. I've been so impressed with my my son, Dantel. I don't think Dantel's in here right now. But I've been so impressed with him because he told me, he says, you know what? 